Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends, to your younger brothers and sisters, and to your friends' friends. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now, if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies as part of your preparations to engineering life, then please don't forget to subscribe. Level 124, determine the product of inertia for the beam's cross-sectional area with respect to the X and Y axis that have their origin located at the centroid C. So is the cross-section of the beam. Then we divide the sections into this manner, here and here. And take note that this middle rectangle is symmetric with respect to the xy axis. The centroid is still there, therefore its moment of inertia, product of inertia rather, with respect to the centroidal x-axis would be zero. So we will only account these two uh, rectangles. So if analyze the location of the centroid is here, 2.5 inches above the bottom this bottom here since this is the x-axis so 2.5 2.5 is half of 5 inches 2.5 minus 0.5 so its barred y is positive 2 its barred x is this one 5 plus half of 1 inch 0.5 so negative 5.5 on the other hand this section because it is symmetric with respect to the x-axis they have the same barred y except that barred y here is negative 2 and barred x is positive 5.5. The area is 5 times 1, so 5 square inches. Again, the middle rectangle, the product of inertia with respect to the centroid is 0 because it is symmetric with respect to the x and y axis and the centroid of that rectangle is there. So for our solution, uh, I x y is equal to for this rectangle with respect to its centroid product of inertia 0 then so this is our guide formula ixy equals i bar xy plus area bar x bar y so ixy is equal to 0 for this rectangle area is 5 its bar x is negative 5.5 its bar y is from here from the x axis to the centroid positive 2 while for this rectangle here the the centroidal product of inertia is also zero the area is five the only difference is bar x is positive 5.5 and bar y is negative negative 2 so plus zero plus five times 5.5 times negative 2 solving for ixy ixy equals negative 110.0 inches to the fourth Level 125, determine the product of inertia of the rectangular area about the x-y axis. Treat the case where b is small compared with l. So here is the given figure and we already have experience uh, thin rod, thin wire from the previous videos that I uploaded because there are so many, many examples that I uploaded in my channel so let's consider as for our solution consider that strip take note that differential x is along x so that's the horizontal projection of this differential area and therefore this length is greater than that horizontal projection which is dx because this is supposedly the hypotenuse of this very small right triangle here so because the angle of inclination is dif is alpha that dimension here that differential dimension here is differential x divided by cosine of alpha or the hypotenuse is equal to the horizontal projection of this strip or this element which is dx divided by cosine alpha and the thickness is b and we call this x the distance of the element from the x-axis as y and to relate y in terms of x, we use this right triangle, tangent alpha is y over x. So, 
as I said, this is differential x over cosine alpha. dx is not shown, but that's the horizontal projection of this element. And the horizontal projection of the length here is L cosine of alpha. So Ixy equals integral of xy dA, where tangent of alpha is y over x. So y is x tangent of alpha. And the horizontal projection of the length, because the, the variable of integration is x, is from 0 to this length L cosine alpha. So this is, again, L cosine of alpha. S substitute here x is just x, then y is x tangent alpha. Differential area is the area of this element, which is equal to b times dx over cosine alpha. So i x y equals integral from 0 to l cosine alpha of x times x tangent alpha for y and dx over cosine alpha times b for the differential area of that element. So writing the constants before the Integral sign, we have B tangent alpha over cosine alpha <coughs> equals B tangent alpha over cosine alpha integral 0 to L cosine alpha of x squared dx. <coughs> so Ixy equals B tangent alpha over cosine of alpha quantity x cube over 3 from 0 to L cosine alpha. <coughs> I x y therefore is b tangent alpha over 3, 3 cosine of alpha quantity l cosine of alpha cube or l cube cosine cube of alpha. Simplifying further and take note that tangent alpha, we can cancel cosine alpha. So I x y equals b tangent alpha b l cube tangent alpha cosine square of alpha over 3. And since tangent alpha is sine alpha over cosine alpha, so writing that as sine alpha over cosine alpha, then times cosine square alpha over 3, then Ixy is BL cubed sine alpha cosine alpha over 3. And since from trigonometry, double angle, so this is sine 2 alpha over 2 from plain trigonometry, then we can simplify the answer further into B L cube sine of 2 alpha over 6. So that's the product of inertia of this element, of this uh, bar with respect to the xy axis. Level 1 to 6 for the region shown, I x y is 320 times 10 cube mm to the fourth and I product of inertia with respect to the uv axis 0. Compute the distance d between the y and v axis. So note that the result is independent of bar x. So this is the y axis, this is the x axis, and the u axis coincident. And it is the y and the y and the v axis are not coincident. So with respect to this axis here, the product of inertia is zero as stated in this problem. This is the centroid and the distance of the centroid from the y-axis is denoted by bar x. The distance of the centroid or the distance between the y and the v-axis is d. Now with respect to the uv axis, the location of the centroid horizontally is negative because it is lying to the left of the v-axis. So therefore, instead of making negative of this distance, which is this distance is supposedly d minus bar x, let, let's just make it bar x minus d. And the result, because d is longer than bar x, is negative. So let's put it that way. And the product of inertia with respect to the centroid is denoted by Ixy. Then from there, we can set up the equation. So I x y equals with respect to this axis 320 times 10 cube for our solution equals I bar x y. So centroidal product of inertia plus area of the element of the region which is 400. Bar x is denoted by bar x and bar y is positive 40. 
So, I x y equals I bar x plus area bar x bar y as our guide. Substitute 320 times 10 to the third equals I bar x y plus area 400 bar x is bar x bar y is 40. So, let's just leave it that way. That's the value of R bar x y. Then, I sub u v is 0. It is equal to I bar x y with respect to the, with respect to the centroid product of inertia. Then let's transfer it here. So plus area 400 bar x is, or its distance from the y axis, from the v axis is bar x minus d as stated. So that we will not put negative sign anymore. Then bar y is also 40. Bar u is bar v is also equal to 40. So i u b equals zero equals i bar x y equals area bar u bar v. So 0 equals I bar XY plus 400 bar U is bar X minus D bar Y is also 40. Then substitute the value of I bar XY which is from here 320 times 10 cube minus this 400 times bar X times 40. Then let's expand this 320 times 10 cube equals I bar XY plus 400 bar x times 40 this is the value of i bar xy 320 times 10 cube minus minus 400 bar x 40 from here so that's the value there is substituted here then let's copy this part by copying this part we expand so 400 bar x times 40 this one then minus 400 times 40 times negative d which is this so that's why we can cancel this and the result is independent really of bar x so 320 400 times 40 times d to the left so positive d e equals 320 times 10 cube solving for d so d is 20 mm Level 127, using the parallel axis theorem, determine the product of inertia of the area shown with respect to the centroidal x and y axis. Here is the given figure. Take note of symmetry. Then we need this, the formula here. We already, I already derived the formula for the product of inertia of this orientation of triangle, which is, which is the same as this because they lie on the second and fourth quadrants they have the same product of inertia with respect to the xy axis same is true with this they are positive with respect to the xy axis but with respect to the centroid zero so we need to recall this remember the product of inertia for this orientation is negative b square h square over 24 while the centroidal product of inertia with respect to that axis is positive b square h square over 72 and I want you to recall that if you cannot remember or else you derive the formula by integration so that you can also practice yourselves deriving formulas not just memorizing so as I said these are the formulas i bar x i x y negative b square h square over 24 i bar x y b square h square over 72 but in this problem we just use this because this is the orientation and this these are the x and the y axis for rectangles with respect to the centroid zero then we just transfer area 60 times 40 bar x 30 bar y 20 positive times 2 because it is the same as this the only difference is it is in this quadrant but bar x is negative 30 bar y is negative 20 same as here but, but the product of negatives is positive that's why we multiply it by 2 so i x y equals i bar x y plus area bar x bar y as our guide so since we have axis of symmetry for the rectangle with respect to the centroid zero so two times quantity zero then area 60 times 40 bar x 30 bar y 20 the other one if we did not multiply this by two is zero 60 40 negative negative so it's the same 
So, that's why we multiply it by 2. For the triangular part, so we just double this formula. 2 times negative 60 square, 40 square over 24. That's the dimension. So, again, we double the value because that's for these two. Just for one, then the other one has the same ixy product of inertia, so we multiply it by 2. So, ixy equals, the first term is 2.88 times 10 to the 6 minus second term, 0.48 times 10 to the 6. Combining, ixy equals 2.400 times 10 to the 6 millimeters to the 4th. 